Most fighters who've uh, had longer fighting careers or fought 20 plus fights typically have that one fight that fight fans are going to associate with them. Uh, it could have been a gutsy performance or a huge upset or a, an awesome knockout. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's usually something that just sticks out, something that was amazing. And, uh, you know, and of course I have that as well. And unlike these guys who've had 20 fights or so, I've had 400 fights. And the fight that most people associate with me is uh, just, I mean, it's associated with me because of the antics, the ending. Uh, it, it's somewhat embarrassing. Um, but it's actually the backstory behind that fight, which is far more entertaining than the fight itself, in my opinion. Um, the fight happened in Salt Lake City, Utah in 1998 against a fighter named Jeremy Bullock. And uh, I actually, you know, wasn't even supposed to fight this guy. On On the video, it, it appears there is a huge weight difference. And in reality, there was, there was about a 32-pound weight difference. But in those days, the, the weight classes were <laughs> very... Uh, very limited. Uh, it was a loosely based uh, um, weight class system, and uh, and they just for promotion to promotion. Promotions got to essentially set their own rules per event. There weren't athletic commissions for a lot of them, and uh, I, uh, you know, I mean, it looks like I'm so much bigger than this guy, but I really, I mean, 170 to 200 is far different than 200 to 230. I mean, it's a lot of mass there. And uh, it's just the fact that I wasn't even supposed to fight this guy, which which makes the backstory interesting, in my opinion. Um, I uh, had actually fought in Brazil. I'd been in Brazil for several weeks. I fought a fight down there uh, in early November of 1998, and I lost. But uh, it was a... 13 minute fight against a, a very tough fighter named Mario Nato. I believe he fought in a couple of UFC events later on. Um, and uh, we stayed down there. It's me and a couple of Americans who were actually UFC veterans, Felix Lee Mitchell and Joel Sutton. And uh, they were hating it. I was 21 years old. Life was fun. These guys were in their 30s, had families and jobs, and they wanted to go home. And uh, they, we were kept down there because we were going to fight in a tournament, which was a big tournament at the time called the World Valley Tito. And uh, it was in Salvador, Brazil, and we were at a hotel in Recife, Brazil. And we flew to Salvador, which took about an hour. And uh, Joel and Felix both lost in the first round, but uh, I won the tournament. Big ladies coming out with some punches. Watch this and classic uh, double leg takedown. Travis is going for the takedown. Yeah. But uh, he's uh, got it. Try I wonder if he's crossing his, his feet down. And I'll tell you something else, though. 